This is pure stone cold survival at this point. Salute to everybody coming in the building. Once again, we are surviving Gabrielle Union, and we are surviving Dwayne Wade, and we are surviving Diddy Glover. This is pure and stone cold survival at this point. You know what I mean? I cannot make this shit up, okay? Now, y'all just heard me. Just I just confronted Gabrielle Union not too long ago because Dwayne Wade allegedly, and salute to everybody coming in the building. I got to get this out right now, guys. Salute to all of y'all. Like I said, I read all comments. Everything that y'all say, I read right after I, I'm done with the show. But I must, I must survive and I must get these things out my system, okay? Because it's been eating, it's been eating me alive. It's been eating me alive! Surviving the fact that it's been eating me alive. This is pure survival at this point. Now, Gabrielle Union, you had no problem. With Dwayne Wade, sexuality, having all kinds of freak parties, and you knew, and you was the one who said that Dwayne Wade allegedly had a love affair, a secret love affair with Diddy Glover. It's not too many motherfuckers in Hollywood that did not party and have a secret sexual love affair with Diddy Glover. This is pure survival at this point. Gabrielle! Surviving the fact that this is pure survival. Gabrielle, I'm tired of telling you booty ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dwayne Wade has been getting his nails done. I told y'all about that. Wearing all kinds of purses and dresses and everything like that. Crying and screaming and yelling to come up out the closet. You, you And we already know, Gabrielle already admitted to eating his booty like groceries. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about that. We are surviving the fact that I'm not going to talk about Gabrielle Union eating Dwayne Wade's behind from the back, okay, while his balls was dangling in her face. This is pure survival. But my whole thing is Dwayne Wade allegedly recently came out and said that he wanted to be a Transformer. Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, one of the Transformers, okay? And you are upset because Dwayne Wade wants to get his uh, sexuality changed, Caitlyn Jenner, uh, uh, um, Frank Ocean, whatever the case may be, Little Nas X, you already knew it. You just said that you filed for divorce, Gabrielle. And I heard that you and Dwayne Wade are allegedly divorced right now. The two two motherfuckers ain't even living in the same house. Y'all are pulling a Will Smith and Jada Pinkett thing. You know what I mean? Where y'all walking the red carpet, y'all doing shit, walking around holding hands, pretending to be together. You know what I mean? To protect Dwayne Wade's sexuality, okay? So his fan base or whatever don't walk away from him. But Dwayne's been screaming. He's been yelling to come out, and he's been coming out the closet. Gabrielle? So you just threatened to divorce him the other day, and I found out that you and him been living separate, sweetness. Y'all been living separate, Gabrielle? Surviving the fact that you and Dwayne Wade don't even live in the same mansion? This is pure survival at this point. I can't make this up. So now, I don't want y'all to think that I'm taking up for Diddy Glover. I don't want y'all to think that I'm taking up for Diddy Glover. Okay? But what I'm going to tell you, Gabrielle, you already know that Diddy Glover got so much going on right now. He's getting sued left and right. Surviving the fact that Diddy Glover is getting sued, lawsuits coming left and right? This is pure survival. Do you see what the man look like? Why do you think, everybody keep asking me, why do he call him Diddy Glover? Why do he call Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Paul, Sean Cuffy Pones, or whatever the fuck, why do he call him Diddy Glover? Why am I the only one that calls him Diddy Glover? If you look at the picture, Gabrielle, Diddy looks like Danny Glover. Okay? He looks like Danny Glover. You can even ask Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson got an Instagram. He said that uh, Diddy looks like Danny Glover. This is pure survival. And that's why I call him Diddy Glover. Okay? And I'm not taking up for Diddy Glover. 
I don't want y'all to think that I'm taking up for Diddy Glover and I'm coming down on Gabrielle. But my whole thing is Diddy Glover got too much going on right now. Diddy Glover got a lot of stuff going on right now, Gabrielle. Okay, and you so bougie and you so stuck up and you're so ignorant to mess with that man when he looks like that. Diddy Glover looked like he got about two or three days left to live. You know what I'm talking about? This is pure survival, Gabrielle. You remember Diddy Glover had the song, if you had 24 hours to live, just think, where would you go? What would you do? And who would you screw? And who would you want to notify? Diddy Glover looked like he got 20, 22 days to live. This is pure survival. So he's trying to do and think of anything he can do right now. Okay? Diddy Glover don't got no friends no more, Gabrielle. So you allegedly went on Twitter, because I went on Twitter looking for it. You were on Twitter talking about Diddy um, do you wonder why Jay-Z don't want nothing to do with you? That's why they wouldn't have brunch with you. Why would you offer to throw Dwayne Wade a divorce party? You know what I'm saying? Like, you just going in on Diddy Glover on Twitter, and then you went and deleted it. Then you went and took it off of uh, Twitter, Gabrielle. So if you stand on your word, why would you go on Twitter and bash the bullshit out of Diddy Glover? That's why I told y'all, I'm not taking up for Diddy Glover. I know it sound like I'm taking up for Diddy Seems Glover, like the weed. but listen, Diddy Glover already got a whole bunch going on. Gabrielle Union went on Twitter and was saying, that's why you don't got no friends. You want to throw Dwayne Wade, uh, you want to throw my husband a divorce party when <laughs> you should be worried about all these lawsuits that you got going on. You shouldn't even want a party no more. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that you 800 and something years old. Now, now, Gabrielle, that is true. This is pure survival of the fact that I'm agreeing with you. Yes, Diddy Glover is too old. You know what I mean? 800 and something years old and still trying to party? You know what I mean? I've been said that about Diddy Glover. I've been said that why would you go, why would you have all these lawsuits and go date a woman named Young Miami? Diddy Glover shouldn't be dating nobody with Young in front of that motherfucker. Young Jeezy, none of that type of shit, Diddy. Uh, Glover? I said that, Gabrielle, but for you to make fun and try to kick Diddy Glover when he was down, when you made an announcement, uh, Gabrielle, you said that you were going to divorce Dwayne Wade because he wanted to become a transgender like his son, Zaya. This is pure survival. But you've been a part of the alleged gay parties. Shout out to the LBG community. I'm not, I always tell y'all that. I have nothing against people, you know, sexuality, I, none of that stuff. I love everybody. And I must say that, guys. Y'all got to understand why I say that. Because YouTube can't think that I'm making fun of that community. You know what I'm saying? YouTube, you, you know what I mean? You get in trouble for, for bashing people and stuff like that. So I try to make it clear. No, this is not me bashing them. Gabrielle Union went on Twitter and said it out of her mouth. She the one said that Diddy Glover offered to, to uh, throw Dwayne Wade a, a, a gay um, divorce party. This is pure survival at this point. So if y'all going to be mad at anybody, be mad at Gabrielle. Because Gabrielle Union is the one who texted. You know what I mean? And then there's people saying, well, how you know that was Gabrielle Union's account? Steve Harvey's mustache said the same thing. Steven, Steven's mustache said the same thing. When Steve Harvey allegedly was talking about just hilarious, like a dog, says she not funny, which I don't really think, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think she got talent, but she's not like one of my top tier people. But um, Steven and his mustache denied the fact that he was the one that did it on Twitter. You know what I mean? And I'm like, Steven, if it, was, if it wasn't you, it might have been your mustache. Because, you know, Steve Harvey's mustache does things when, he, when he's sleeping. That mustache gets up and walk and go out and do shit, take out the trash, different things like that. This is pure survival at this point. You know what I mean? But Gabrielle Union, on Twitter, you was sitting there, I'm talking about going in on Diddy Glover, pissed off that he offered to throw Dwayne Wade a, a, a divorce party when you was just bragging about divorcing him because he wants to be a transgender woman. Surviving the fact that Dwayne Wade wants to be a transgender woman. This is pure survival. Now, if you let that man <clears throat> go to Diddy's parties, have a secret love affair, Diddy Glover don't have no friends, Gabrielle. Nobody wants to sit next to him at the Grammys. Nobody want to be associated with Diddy Glover. 
So why wouldn't Diddy Glover want to throw Dwayne Wade a party? Nobody wants to party with Diddy, okay? You heard what Cat Williams said. You're supposed to say no. This is pure survival. Surviving the fact that Cat Williams said, did he want to party? You got to say no. This is pure survival. But what do you think that, that Dwayne Wade going to say if did he want to party? If did he want to party, Dwayne Wade, of course he's going to say, all right, fuck it, hell yeah. You know what I mean? So Diddy Glover just looking for a friend. Diddy Glover is just looking for a friend. This is pure survival. Gabriel! You know what I mean? Like you so selfish. And I think that you upset because Diddy Glover allegedly got that good googly moogly. That good googly moogly. That thing is juicy. Good googly moogly. This is pure survival at this point, Gabrielle. Dwayne Wade feels like Diddy Glover got that good googly moogly. That good googly moogly. That thing is juicy. Good googly moogly. You know what I mean? And you just mad because you don't got that good googly moogly. You just mad because you don't got that good googly moogly. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and here's my thing, right? Far as I know about a divorce party, I got to, you know, I use my own personal life when I'm speaking to y'all. My I've been married before. And my ex-wife, when we was going to get a divorce, she said to me, oh, I'm going to have a divorce party, like all happy and everything. It took like a year and a half for my divorce to go through. She kept calling me, blowing me up, talking about when you going to go through with the shit? When you going to go? Because it's easy to get married, but it's hard as fuck to, to divorce a motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I thought it was just easy. Walk in the courtroom. Look, I don't want her no more, Johanna. I'm done. This is over. I rebuke her in the name of Jesus. Please sign. You know what I mean? But it's not as easy. It's easy to, get, to go to jail, but it's hard to get out. That's just like marriage. It's easy to go sign and say I do, but it's hard as fuck to get a divorce. I'm telling y'all, this is pure survival at this point. You know what I'm talking about? But I'm like, Your Honor, I don't give a fuck. Like, we're not even together. We ain't been together in a year or something. But when my divorce finally went through, after she kept telling me, oh, I'm going to have a divorce party and everything. Just kept calling me, talking about she wanted to leave the country, but she had to get rid of my last name. Like, just kept blowing me up. The day that the divorce finally went through, a year later, I cannot make this up. I don't got nothing against her, nothing bad that I'm saying. But when I saw her at the courthouse, it wasn't even COVID time. This is a year and a half later. She had a mask on. She was looking like she didn't, you know, you know when you not with somebody no more after a certain amount of years, like I'm not mad at the person no more. Like I can say hi, hey, how you doing? You know what I mean? Like, she act like she had a problem with me. Like, she didn't want to look at me. She didn't want to see me. She had a mask on here and the top. How do you got a COVID mask right here and then a mask at the top? She came in the courthouse looking like a goddamn ninja. She looked like a ninja. Surviving the fact that my ex-wife looked like a ninja? This is pure survival. The day that we were supposed to sign a divorce. So it seemed like she had an attitude when it came up to the time when it was really time to, to, to divorce. That's why I don't understand some women. That's why I don't understand some women. And Gabrielle, you acting the same way. You just said that you was divorcing Dwayne Wade. Now that Diddy Glover wants to throw him a party, and he want to throw him a party, now you having a fit going off on Diddy Glover. You are acting very bougie and bipolar. Surviving the fact that Dwayne Wade, ex-wife, acting bougie and fucking bipolar. Gabrielle, I just don't know what to do. I, I really don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? This is pure survival at this point. I done went and got some balloons. I done got a motherfucking party hat. Everything. I'm happy for Dwayne. You know what I'm saying? Because if Dwayne wants to, to, to spread his wings and fly and let his hair down and he want to party with Diddy Glover, why don't you just let him party and let his hair down? This is pure survival. If he want to get his pecker removed because he want a Regina Gabrielle, you just got to accept it. Surviving the fact that Dwayne Wade wants a Regina, he don't want his pecker no more, and Gabrielle got to accept it? This is pure survival, guys. And Gabrielle Union, you already admitted Diddy Glover done, done turned out Will Smith, allegedly. He done turned out Usher. I'm talking about so he got to have the good googly moogly to these guys. He got the good googly moogly. This is crazy. And listen, look, Gary, Gabrielle Union, you was just going crazy. When you knew that Dwayne Wade was messing with Diddy Glover, you not you and him not together, y'all living in a separate house, come out and tell the truth. You already filed for divorce, Gabrielle. So if he wants to party with Diddy and nobody else want to be friends with Diddy Glover, you need to just let them be lovers. 
Surviving the fact that you just need to let them be lovers? This is pure survival at this point. Listen to this woman. Seems like the Wade family is back in the news for another drama, and this time, once again, it has to do with Dwayne Wade's sexuality. But it's not just his sexuality that is making headlines this time, it's the stories of his infidelity too. The player recently got exposed by his wife for cheating on her, and he didn't just cheat on her with anyone ordinary. Allegedly, he cheated on her with the music mogul Diddy. The sexuality of Dwayne Wade has been a question for many years. He's already cheated on you, Gabrielle. This is the receipts. Him and Diddy Glover been messing around. So why wouldn't Diddy Glover want to throw him a party? Why wouldn't Diddy Glover want to throw him a party? Diddy Glover don't have no friends in the industry. Nobody want nothing to do with him. So if Dwayne Wade's turning into a transgender woman, of course he's going to be friends with Diddy Glover. Who else is going to throw the party? Who else is going to throw the party? This is pure survival. And Gabrielle, you can't get mad at the LBG community. I'm talking about, yeah, my, uh, Diddy Glover want to throw my husband a, a gay, um, a, what is it, a gay divorce party. She said it in them words. So she's trying to bash the community. You know what I mean? And, and I'm telling you, Gabrielle, you don't want nothing to do with the... You, if they come after you, Gabrielle, you are going to be sick. I'm telling you, all that bougie shit ain't going to work because they got divas in that community. They got the divas that's going to come for you. I'm talking about Red, Saucy, Santanas, and all of them going to come for you. This is pure survival at this point, Gabrielle. And y'all got to smash that like button, guys. We got too many people in the building. Y'all got to smash that like button. We are surviving the fact that Diddy Glover offered to throw Dwayne Wade a gay uh, divorce party. This is pure survival at this point. Seems like the Wade family is back in the news for another drama. And this time, once again, it has to do with Dwayne Wade's sexuality. But it's not just his sexuality that is making headlines this time. It's the stories of his infidelity, too. The player recently got exposed by his wife for cheating on her, and he didn't just cheat on her with anyone ordinary. Allegedly, he cheated on her with the music mogul Diddy. The sexuality of Dwayne Wade has been a question for many years now, and many people believe that he is in fact attracted to men. There have even been witnesses and sources who have revealed instances where Dwayne had homosexual encounters with other men. And now his wife has had enough of his games and union is finally speaking up about the whole issue. I choose to center my peace and my self-worth now. You see. And you choose to center your peace and your self-worth now, Gabrielle. You've been new that Dwayne Wade has has been having these love affairs, these secret love affairs with men. So why are you so jealous? Why are you so jealous? Surviving the fact that you are jealous of Dwayne Wade and Diddy Glover's a love affair? This is pure survival. Just let them party. God damn it. Music mobile Diddy. The sexuality of Dwayne Wade has been a question for many years now, and many people believe that he is in fact attracted to men. There have even been witnesses and sources who have revealed instances where Dwayne had homosexual encounters with other men. And now his wife has had enough of his games and union is finally speaking up about the whole issue. I choose to center my peace and my self-worth now. You see, Wade has this reputation for throwing parties. The people inside Hollywood know this all too well. These aren't just regular parties. These are gay parties where closeted men of Hollywood go to blow off steam. Now Wade isn't the only one who's known to be involved in some... Did y'all hear that? These are G-A-Y parties. G-A-Y parties that Gabrielle Union been knew about. So I don't know why she's so upset and outrage on Twitter, which she deleted it. I went and looked for it. She deleted it going off on Diddy Glover when she knew about the about the uh, G-A-Y parties. She knew about the G-A-Y parties and the butt-naked gay vampires that be at D Diddy Glover house. I've been told y'all, you got a head of garlic on your neck. When the butt-naked butt vampires in the dining room that be upside down like this sleeping, you know what I mean, at Diddy Glover's gay parties, and if you don't got garlic on your neck, they can grab you and suck your blood. They can grab you and suck your blood and hug you from the back. This is pure survival at this point. But Gabrielle, you already knew what Dwayne Wade was into. So why are you so jealous? Why can't you just let him and Diddy Glover be lovers? Surviving the fact that you're such a hater? This is pure survival at this point. Diddy Glover wants to throw him a party and he's treating her better. He's treating Dwayne better than you, Gabrielle. This is crazy. 
You know what I mean? If Dwayne Wade feel like Diddy Glover got that good googly moogly, that thing is juicy. Good googly moogly. You just need to let them be lovers. You just need to let them be lovers. And you and Dwayne could be friends. Gabrielle? Some worth now. You see, Wade has this reputation for throwing parties. The people inside Hollywood know this all too well. These aren't just regular parties. These are gay parties where closeted men of Hollywood go to blow off steam. Now, Wade isn't the only one who's known to be involved in such parties. Another prominent figure in Hollywood also has the same kind of reputation, and that's none other than the music mogul Diddy. Allegedly, Diddy and Wade had been sleeping around in Union just found out about all of this and decided to put an end to all of it. What's more is that according to sources, she is already... See, they talking about Gabrielle Union just found out that Diddy Glover and Dwayne Wade was having a love affair. She didn't just find out. That's not true. Gabrielle Union been knew about that. She had no problem when she was eating Dwayne Wade's rear rim. You know what I mean? And Diddy Glover was probably sitting there filming it. While you was eating Dwayne Wade butt, Diddy Glover was holding the camera recording. So you ain't just find out about that. You and, and Dwayne been divorced. Surviving the fact that you and Dwayne Wade been divorced? This is pure survival, Gabrielle. Sleeping around in Union just found out about all of this and decided to put an end to all of it. What's more is that according to sources, she has already filed for divorce and is living separately from Wade at the moment. Welcome back to the celebrity hype. In Do y'all hear that? She already filed for divorce. Listen clear carefully. Gabrielle Union already filed for divorce. Her and Dwayne ain't even living together. Surviving the fact that Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle don't even live together no more. Why are you worrying about what he's doing at his house, Gabrielle? As fine as you supposed to be. You supposed to be fine as a motherfucker. You should have been able to find another man, Gabrielle. But the next time you get another guy, you got to keep your tongue out the crack of his ass. I'm telling you, this is pure survival, Gabrielle. We are surviving your tongue going in the next man's crack of his ass. I'm not talking about the outside of the ass. You got to stop putting your tongue in the crack of the ass, Gabrielle. And then bragging about it on radio shows. And then you wonder why Dwayne's so turned out. He's so turned out. You know what I'm saying? And then Dwayne Wade allegedly supposed to be getting his um whole thing taken off. And you so upset about it. But you allowed him to have sexual relations with Diddy Glover and other men because you wanted to, Dwayne Wade to live out his fantasies because he was trying to live out his fantasies through Zaya, his son. Dwayne Wade told you he was wearing dresses and playing with Barbie dolls at the age of two. At the age of two years old, Gabrielle, who put on a dress at two years old? You ain't even supposed to know that, that how to put on a dress. He knew at two years old and he was trying to live out his fantasies through his son, Zaya. Surviving the fact that Dwayne Wade was trying to live out his fantasy? This is pure survival. We living in a fantasy. I feel it when you dance with me. It's feeling like you need to be my baby, my lady. Can't you see? I'm talking about eternity. He was living in a fantasy. This is pure survival at this point. But you and him been separated. Y'all been divorced, Gabrielle. Okay? So you can cut the shit. All that taking pictures together and walking in the motherfucking red carpet like Will Smith and Jada Pickett, bald head ass was doing, and pretending that they were still together. Why are you so outraged and going off on Diddy Glover? And I know that it sounds like I'm taking up for Diddy Glover, but I'm not. Diddy Glover is a, a hundred and something years old. No, 800 and something years old. But he looked like, I'm telling you, Diddy Glover looked like he is 3,500 years old right now. 3,500 years old. Surviving the fact that Diddy Glover looked like he's 3,500 years old. This is pure survival, Gabrielle. Even the other day, Diddy Glover took his daughters out. Do you know what I mean? And I thought that was nice. I said, okay, Diddy Glover's going out with his daughters, you know, trying to feel like he's still a regular person. So he used the girls because he know he wasn't going to say nothing bad. If he go out with his sons, we're going to be like, oh, they about to go shoot somebody again. Allegedly. They about to go shoot him up in the bathroom again. Allegedly. But he used his girls so we could be sympathetic. 
Diddy Glover wants us to be sympathetic. So if Dwayne Wade is being there for Diddy Glover and Diddy Glover's going to throw him a party, you need to go sit down somewhere. Gabrielle, go get in a new movie. Are you in the motherfucker new bad boys? Aren't you Mark Lowry's girlfriend? Aren't you, uh, uh, what was the Marcus? Martin plays Marcus in Bad Boy. Ain't you his sister, Gabrielle? You should be chasing after Mike Lowry when he running down the street in Bad Boys with his shirt unbuttoned. Talking about freeze! This is pure survival at this point, Gabrielle. Reputation. And that's none other than the music mogul Diddy. Allegedly, Diddy and Wade had been sleeping around in Union just found out about all of this and decided to put an end to all of it. What's more is that according to sources, she has already filed for divorce and is living separately from Wade at the moment. Welcome back to The Celebrity Hyped. In today's video, we will be talking about how Gabrielle Union exposed Dwayne Wade for cheating on her with Diddy. But before we get to all the juicy bits of the video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this one in the future. And I was like, so, and you were gonna propose marriage, but in case I said no, you had a lovely woman from Greece, apparently, en route to Jacksonville. Okay, we're off to a great start. Should have been a red flag. Gabrielle Union, Wade's wife, has been going through it ever since she got married to the guy. The couple tried their best to portray the image of a perfect family, a power couple, but their house of cards seems to be coming right down. Especially now that there are rumors of Dwayne Wade <laughs> cheating on Gabrielle with Diddy, their marriage seems to be ending pretty soon. There have been rumors of- It's not too long that you could keep high in the secrets, Gabrielle. It's not too long that you can keep hot in the secrets. This is pure survival at this point. So we all saw that that marriage, that, that Dwayne Wade didn't want to be with you for real, for real. He want to be with Diddy Glover, okay? And you are jealous and you are upset and you just don't know how to take it on a goddamn chin. You know how to eat a butt and take, and take some balls on your chin, but you can't take that Dwayne Wade don't want to be with you no more on a chin. This is pure survival at this point. Went through it ever since she got married to the guy. The couple tried their best to portray the image of a perfect family, a power couple, but their house of cards seems to be coming right down. Especially now that there are rumors of Dwayne Wade cheating on Gabrielle with Diddy, their marriage seems to be ending pretty soon. There have been rumors of trouble in paradise for a while, but fans didn't have any proof to back it up. That was until the couple was spotted in public without their wedding rings, and that's how fans knew that something was up. Fans connected the dots, but it still didn't... So you and Dwayne have not been wearing your wedding rings. Y'all been walking around together, taking pictures, you know what I mean? Taking the kids to little birthday parties, wanting to look, you know what I'm saying, like y'all get along, like y'all still together. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, Dwayne Wade, when he looks at you, he see Diddy Glover's face. He see Diddy Glover's face. And that's why you so jealous. You know what I'm saying? Because when Dwayne Wade looks at you, He's seeing Diddy Glover. So why don't you just let him and Diddy Glover be happy, Gabrielle? He's going to throw him a party. You probably can go to the party still. You know what I mean? You need to, plus Gabrielle, you're probably going to have to give Dwayne away. You're probably going to have to give Dwayne away. This is pure survival at this point. What if Dwayne asks you to give him away? If he want to get married, Gabrielle? You know how, how the fathers give their daughters away? Gabrielle Union gonna have to give Dwayne away <laughs> at the wedding. She gonna have to give him away. This is pure survival at this point. Diddy needs company. He needs a friend. So I'm not surprised that Diddy Glover offered to throw him a divorce party. And the reason why he offered to throw him a divorce party, because you've been going public bragging about how you divorcing Dwayne Wade because he wants to change his sexuality. He's tired of hiding in the closet. Do you understand how little a closet is? Surviving the fact that you don't understand how small a closet is and you just in that motherfucker and you just spinning around and you just stuck it, you just moving around and you know you want to come out of that motherfucker. Dwayne is tired of sitting in that motherfucker and he wants to celebrate. You know what I'm talking about? This is pure survival at this point. Seems to be ending pretty soon. There had been rumors of trouble in paradise for a while, but fans didn't have any proof to back it up. That was until the couple was spotted in public without their wedding rings. And that's how fans knew that something was up. Fans connected the dots, but it still didn't make any sense. So the universe worked its charm and finally, 
Gabrielle herself decided to pull back the curtain on all the secrets that she had been keeping for her cheating husband. Should have been a clue that anyone that inspires that level of crazy uh, probably shouldn't have gotten out of the dating phase. Turns out she always knew about his sexuality and his infidelity, but let it slide. And you're going to say that he shouldn't have got out of the dating phase. Gabrielle Union, you shouldn't have got out of the dating phase. Why didn't you just keep dating him? You the one that probably forced Dwayne Wade to get married. Gabrielle, and you talking about he should have stayed in the dating phase. He should have stayed in the dating phase. So you would have been cool if him and Diddy Glover was just dating and going out to Red Lobster and little things like that or whatever five-star restaurants they go to. You know what I'm talking about? I, this is pure survival at this point. When you should have stayed in the dating phase, you can't say he should have stayed in there because you the one bitter. You the one upset. Dwayne Wade walked off with the thongs. Why don't you just put the boxers on? Surviving the fact that won't you just put the boxers on because Dwayne Wade wants to wear the thongs, the thongs, thongs, thongs. This is pure survival at this point. Guys, you know, salute to everybody in the building. Salute to the 1,500. It's 1,500 people watching right now, guys. What cities and states that we are in, guys? I need to know. What cities, what states, and what countries? Because it's 1,500 motherfuckers watching. And I need to know. You know what I'm talking about? I don't want to hear that. I don't want to know if you're playing. We got Daytona, San, uh, the, damn, San Diego, Washington, D.C., Mount, goddamn, it's so much shit. Seattle, Chirac, Philly, Indiana. Uh, Houston, Texas, Chicago, Detroit, Minnesota. Oh my God, we everywhere. The United Kingdom, California, IA, Los Angeles in the building, Maryland in the motherfucker. Yeah, you know I mean, we is we in here. This is pure survival. Gabrielle, we are surviving you hating on Diddy Glover and Dwayne Wade love affair. Their secret love affair. If Diddy Glover wants to throw him a party, you need to just go and go get him a damn uh, uh, um, a divorce party gift. This is pure survival at this point. South Carolina, oh man, London, and this motherfucker, we in here. This is pure survival at this point. Of marriage, baby. This, this is crazy. Know. You had a lovely woman from Greece, apparently, en route to Jacksonville. Okay, we're off to a great start. Should have been a red flag. Gabriel Union, Wade's wife, has been going through it ever since she got married to the guy. The couple tried their best to portray the image of a perfect family, a power couple, but their house of cards seems to be coming right down. Especially now that there are rumors of Dwayne Wade cheating on Gabrielle with Diddy, their marriage seems to be ending pretty soon. There had been rumors of trouble in paradise for a while, but fans didn't have any proof to back it up. That was until the couple was spotted in public without their wedding rings. And that's how fans knew that something was up. Fans connected the dots, but it still didn't make any sense. So the universe worked its charm and finally, Gabrielle herself decided to pull back the curtain on all the secrets that she had been keeping for her cheating husband. Should have been a clue that anyone that inspires that level of crazy uh, probably shouldn't have gotten out of the dating phase. Turns out she always knew about his sexuality and his infidelity, but let it slide for whatever reason. But it looks like she has finally had enough of this and is speaking up, exposing Dwayne Wade and his little gay affairs. Now these rumors about Dwayne Wade being a cheater are nothing new. And even the rumors about his sexuality. We all have had our doubts for the longest time. It's just that now we are getting the information straight from the horse's mouth. This isn't the first time Dwayne cheated on Gabrielle, which makes this whole thing so much worse. Just a few years ago, one of his side chicks exposed him for having an affair with him. She said that he was great in bed and all, but she could never pursue him seriously because she knew the reality about him. She added that he is a playboy who sleeps around with women and flies them out every other day. So she never understood why Gabrielle took him as her husband. Now this was a big statement and it really shook Union and Wade's marriage. But this marriage had a lot more troubles to see. I was doing laundry and he'd be good for leaving like credit cards or money in his pockets. So I'd have to go through his pockets just to make sure you know, I didn't watch our animal. We must meditate. We must meditate. Good googly moogly. The Diddy Glover got that good googly moogly and Dwayne love it. Good googly moogly. That thing is juice. Good googly moogly. That thing is 
Good googly moogly, that thing is juicy. 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 This is pure survival at this point. We are surviving the fact. That Diddy Glover got that good googly moogly. Allegedly, Diddy Glover got that good googly moogly. And this is what Dwayne Wade is so, so attracted to, Gabrielle. And you are upset because Diddy Glover allegedly got that good googly moogly. This is pure survival at this point. Gabrielle! Longest time. It's just that now we are getting the information straight from the horse's mouth. This isn't the first time Dwayne cheated on Gabrielle, which makes this whole thing so much worse. Just a few years ago, one of his side chicks exposed him for having an affair with him. She said that he was great in bed and all, but she could never pursue him seriously because she knew the reality about him. She added that he is a playboy who sleeps around with women and flies them out every other day, so she never understood why Gabrielle took him as her husband. Now this was a big statement and it really shook Union and Wade's marriage. But this marriage had a lot more troubles to see. I was doing laundry and he'd be good for leaving like credit cards or money in his pockets. So I'd have to go through his pockets just to make sure, you know, I didn't wash our annex. And I find this number in his pocket and it's an 818 number because we were living in the San Fernando Valley and the name uh, Angelina. I was like, it's happening again. But honestly, it seems like Union knew about his cheating all along and just didn't care enough to do anything about it. She was fine with the arrangement they had going on and didn't want to change anything. Be you knew that Dwayne was cheating with men and women and you did not care. Gabrielle, and now you throwing a fit because Diddy Glover wants to throw him a party. Salute to Eva, surviving the fact that we got 1,500 people and, a, and not enough likes. I know. And you know what, Eva? I, that's what I be saying. How we got 1,500 people with that many likes? They don't like it until after I get off alive. <laughs> I realize that. This is pure survival at this point, Eva. You know what I mean? But, Gabrielle, you knew that Dwayne was into that. You accepted him for cheating on you with men and women before. So I don't want to hear you crying because Diddy Glover offered to throw a party. Doesn't mean Dwayne got to take the offer. But he offered to throw him a party. Nobody wants to party with Diddy Glover. So if he can get a friend, if Dwayne Wade stay friends with him and lovers, secret lovers and shit, you can't be jealous because you knew about it. So if you allow him to cheat with men that you know about or women you know about, but since it's Diddy Glover, you know what I mean? Like you have a problem with that because Diddy Glover allegedly done banged out like half the Hollywood men out there. So, like, I, I don't know what it is. It might be some a bougie pride. You don't want to lose Dwayne to Diddy Glover. This is pure survival at this point. You know, I didn't wash our annex. And I find this number in his pocket. And it's an 818 number because we were living in the San Fernando Valley. And the name uh, Angelina. I was like, it's happening again. But honestly, it seems like Union knew about his cheating all along and just didn't care enough to do anything about it. She was fine with the arrangement they had going on and didn't want to change anything. Because if you remember, Wade and Union started out as an affair too. Wade was actually married when the couple met for the first time back in 2007. But soon after meeting, Wade ended things with his first wife, Sivan Fonches, and started going out with Union. The two were finally happy to be together, but Gabriel had forgotten one key rule, which is you lose them the same way you get them. Now you hear that, Gabriel? You lose them the same way you get them. Now, when you met Dwayne Wade, he had a woman. He was married. This is pure survival. We are surviving the fact that Gabrielle Union knew that Dwayne was married when she met him. This is pure survival. So just because you losing Dwayne to Diddy Glover, to Diddy Glover, now you upset. But you met the man. You was a side chick from the beginning. We are surviving the fact that a side chick supposed to know her position and a side nigga supposed to know his position too. 
This is pure survival at this point. And Diddy Glover, for being the side nigga, he knew his position. Diddy Glover was Dwayne Wade's side nigga. And he knew to be quiet until y'all until y'all ended. So now Diddy Glover comes out as the side guy, and now he want to be the main squeeze. And he want to throw him a party. This is pure survival. So did you think about the woman's uh, feelings when you was messing with him? Did you think about her feelings? No, you didn't, Gabrielle! Surviving the fact that his first wife, you didn't think about her feelings? This is pure survival. So I refuse to feel bad for you. I refuse. This is pure survival. What goes around comes around. Surviving the fact that what goes around comes around. This is pure survival at this point. Anything about it. She was fine with the arrangement they had going on and didn't want to change anything. Because if you remember, Wade and Union started out as an affair too. Wade was actually married when the couple met for the first time back in 2007. But soon after meeting, Wade ended things with his first wife, Sivan Fonches, and started going out with Union. The two were finally happy to be together, but Gabriel had forgotten one key rule, which is you lose them the same way you get them. Even in 2014, when the couple was going through some troubles, Wade went around sleeping with a bunch of random women. But hold on, there is one woman that he slept with who wasn't a random person, it was his best friend. And if sleeping with her wasn't bad enough on its own, he got her pregnant too. Union was going through IVF treatments at that time, so you could imagine how the whole situation would have made her feel. But despite all of this, Union stuck around, which really makes you wonder why. <laughs> According to some fans... And that's another thing. Dwayne Wade got his best friend pregnant. Gabriel, And you knew that. His best friend was a woman, and he got her pregnant. Gabriel, and you decided to stay. So you lick, you lick in the crack of his ass, turn him out, know that he's into men and women, and you knew that he was as a grown adult. So just because now he wants to go full blown. And this gets nothing but pecker. He don't want Regina no more. So you just need to accept it and move on. Gabriel, you accepted the fact that he got another woman pregnant. And he still was fighting the fact that he was in love with Diddy Glover. You know what I'm saying? You stayed with him. And you, you allow him to have the gay parties and, and the freak offs and all of that stuff. And now you mad when y'all two are allegedly divorced right now, living in separate places. Gabriel, surviving the fact that y'all living in separate places. This is pure survival at this point. I don't know what to say to you, woman. Person, it was his best friend. And if sleeping with her wasn't bad enough on its own, he got her pregnant too. Union was going through IVF treatments at that time, so you could imagine how the whole situation would have made her feel. But despite all of this, Union stuck around, which really makes you wonder why. According to some fans, Union knows about all of this, but she just likes the social status that comes with being an NBA wife, so she doesn't really change anything. But that is now changing as Gabrielle is speaking up about Wade's most recent affair. But hold on, before we tell you more about that, do us a favor and make sure to share this video with a friend who might enjoy our content and turn on post notifications while you're at it too, so you don't miss out on any of our future uploads. Now, according to our sources close to Union, she has found out about yet another one of Wade's affairs, an affair that started at a party that he hosted with some of his specific male friends. You see, Wade is known for hosting sex parties behind closed doors, where closeted men of Hollywood come and enjoy themselves without having anyone find out. Even one of his ex-business partners talked about this. Baron Richard Vaughn. Now you hear that. Dwayne Wade, ex-business par uh, partner, talked about the parties that the Hollywood men that really like the trans women like more than their wives and 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 other men and all that kind of shit. 
You, his friend said he knew about those parties. It's a secret party. You know what I mean? That you gotta, you gotta be able, you gotta be into that to be invited to them parties. Or if you're not into that, they'll have you come to the party and you walk in the room and it's a bunch of like a hundred and something buck naked motherfucking men. Like, nigga, what you wanna do? Come on, pull up, take your clothes off. Like, and then they find out right then and there if you down with it or if you're not down with it. But Dwayne Wade used to throw these parties. This is pure survival at this point. And Gabrielle Union, you knew about it. Y'all allegedly had these parties at your house. Surviving the fact that y'all used to have these parties at your house. This is pure survival. These parties went on at your house and these parties went on at Diddy Glover's house. You know what I mean? And you knew about it. So you can't get mad that Dwayne is now more into the men than he is the woman, Gabrielle. Does that mess up your self-esteem that he rather a pecker in him and then instead of you? <laughs> this is pure survival at this point. And that's why I think it's a pride thing, Gabrielle, because you real bougie. You real arrogant. You feel like a man ain't going to want nothing else but you. But you shouldn't have let him get his sexual fantasies off. You thought by you sitting there watching him sleep with a man, or I don't know what it is, y'all do it all together, and then now Dwayne is sneaking around with the man and you not knowing about it when you like, hey, we were supposed to be doing it all together. And Dwayne just cut you out the deal. This is pure survival at this point. And that's what it just sound like. It sound like the Gabrielle Union is mad. Just keep your tongue out the crack of motherfucker's ass. <laughs> oh my God. Because I'm telling you, you might have turned him out, you know what I mean? But to me, he said he was wearing dresses at 10. So I, I'm at two years old. So I think Dwayne Ben was into this way before you ate his butt. But when he asked you to eat his butt, you did it. And I don't know if you thought like, damn, okay. Like he might have been picturing Diddy Glover eating his butt. He probably was picturing it was Diddy Glover eating his butt. I don't know, Gabrielle. But all I know is right now you are bitter and you upset and you going off on Diddy because Diddy offered to throw him a divorce party when you were bragging about divorcing him. And then y'all post y'all divorced behind the scenes already. This is crazy, guys. This is pure survival. We are surviving Gabrielle Union's uh, butt licking tongue. This is pure survival at this point. Wade's affairs, an affair that started at a party that he hosted with some of his specific male friends. You see, Wade is known for hosting sex parties behind closed doors, where closeted men of Hollywood come and enjoy themselves without having anyone find out. Even one of his ex-business partners talked about this. Baron Richard Vaughn said that the NBA player had a whole other apartment that he kept aside just to host these parties. Even after he got married to Union, these parties didn't stop and he was almost 100% certain that whatever was going on in these parties wouldn't be good for Wade's marriage. This is back when Wade was married to his first wife. According to Richard, Wade owned a four-bedroom apartment on the first floor of a high-rise. He recalled an incident that left a mark on him. He said that this one time he got a call from the cleaning crew who were complaining about the trash department. It was pretty obvious from the used up rubbers on the floor to the drugs and alcohol on the tables that a party had taken place. They getting old, I guess it's Wow. So his friend said that Dwayne Wade, when he was with his first wife, he had a secret cabin. A secret cabin where he was hosting and having his own gay parties before he got with Gabrielle. But his first wife wasn't into that. So Dwayne couldn't really live out his fantasies with her. You know what I mean? So when he met Gabrielle Union and, and she knew about his, you know what I mean, his other side, you know, and she accepted his other side. This is my whole thing. And now she mad because she's no longer a part of it. Now he want to go the whole way. He don't want women no more. You see that motherfucker? I feel like when he put his dress on and do his nails, he feel like he looks better than a woman. That he's finer than a woman. He wants to be the woman. Surviving the fact that Dwayne Wade wants to be a woman and he wants a man, Gabrielle, he don't want you no more. Can't you get that through your greasy head? This is pure survival at this point. <laughs> that motherfucker said, look, I don't want you no more, Gabrielle. I want to go full blown. First, he was going half and half. That motherfucker said, I want the full blown coffee. I don't want half and half no more. I want a penis sandwich for breakfast. I want a penis sandwich for lunch. I want a penis sandwich for dessert. Surviving the fact that Dwayne Wade wants a, a penis sandwich for dessert. This is pure survival, Gabrielle. 
He don't want to suck on your nipples. <laughs> he wants to suck on Diddy Glover's pecker. <laughs> this is pure survival at this point. He said that this one time he got a call from the cleaning crew who were complaining about the trash department. It was pretty obvious from the used up rubbers on the floor to the drugs and alcohol on the tables that a party had taken place. They're getting old, I guess it just moved over to the Wade house. Energy transfers, energy transfers. And I'm not saying that because I'm not saying that because of their trans daughter. I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. It was at one of these. And shout out to Jaguar Wright when everybody thought that she was crazy. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, she just saying this shit, whatever the case may be. But a lot of shit that Jaguar Wright said ended up coming to light. And she's been talking about Dwayne and Gabrielle doing these parties and Gabrielle knowing all about it. This is pure and stone cold survival. You got to understand when I be saying that we surviving, I be having to use my asthma pump, my albuterol. I be having to use my albuterol during survival. Before I go live, I'll use my albuterol. You know, because I be knowing that this is going to be very, 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 you know, overwhelming. It be very, very overwhelming when I got to share this with the people. We ordinary people. We just don't know which way to go. But we're ordinary people. Gabrielle, we are just ordinary people. You know what I mean? This is pure survival. And if you feel like Dwayne Wade broke the deal or whatever contract that y'all may have had, you just need to accept it. It's over, goddammit. Surviving the fact that it's over, goddammit. I just don't know what else to say, guys. All I know is that we are surviving, and, and we are surviving the fact that y'all need to hit that like. Hit that like button and share this video. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, because we survive over here. And we also meditate. We meditate over here. You know what I'm talking about? We 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 meditate. This is pure survival at this point. Used up rubbers on the floor to the drugs and alcohol on the tables that a party had taken place. They getting old, I guess it just moved over to the Wade house. Energy transfers, energy transfers. And I'm not saying that because I'm not saying that because of their trans daughter. I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. It was at one of these parties that Wade allegedly got with Diddy and the two started having an affair. According to sources, this affair was purely sexual and there were no romantic feelings involved. The two had been sleeping together for a while now hoping no one would find out. So you knew that they was at this party together, Dwayne Wade and Diddy Glover, whether it was at your house, Gabrielle, or was it at Diddy Glover's house? And him and uh, Diddy Glover went in one of them rooms and, and had a love affair. And they fell in love with each other. And they begin to, you know what I mean, kind of sleep around with each other. And now you upset because you got cut out the deal. You shouldn't have let him go to the party with Diddy Glover. Cat Williams told you, if Diddy wants to party, you supposed to say no. But Dwayne was like, hell to the fucking yeah. And now Diddy Glover wants to throw him a party. He wants to throw him a party. It's a celebration for him getting away from you. This is pure survival. Gabrielle? ...that got invited to a party at their house. It was at one of these parties that Wade allegedly got with Diddy and the two started having an affair. According to sources, this affair was purely sexual and there were no romantic feelings involved. The two had been sleeping together for a while now hoping no one would find out. But somehow Union got to know about it, and she decided to end things with Wade on the basis of this affair. Allegedly, that's why she decided to split the finances 50-50 as well, because she is slowly walking out that door after finding out about Wade's secret life. It's weird to say I'm head of household, because in this household, we split everything 50-50. But in the other households that each of us have to support, it puts this... There's always this, like, gorilla on your back that it is like, you better work with. Okay, so she, be Gabrielle Union pretty much saying, I knew that, that get the, about Dwayne Wade, you know, sexuality and secret fantasies, I allowed him to have these things, but she didn't know about Diddy Glover? 
So she has a problem. She didn't have no problem with Dwayne, you know, sleeping around, you know, with men and women. But now, because it's Diddy Glover, because it's Diddy Glover, and Diddy Glover done turned out Will Smith and turned out Usher and, and you know what I mean, turned out a few other, you know, uh, um, industry people, and, and allegedly, that it bothers you because it's Diddy Glover. But if it was anybody else other than Diddy Glover, that's, that's what I'm getting out of this. So you didn't know that him and Dwayne Dwayne was sleeping together. Okay, so Diddy Glover and him was a secret, and then they just ready to go public. Okay, this is pure survival. Because I think Diddy offered to throw him a party personally because Diddy don't have no friends right now. Nobody wants to hang with Diddy. Nobody wants to party. If you go with Diddy, you're going to get indicted. And, and Gabrielle Union, you said on Twitter that Diddy needs to be worrying about um, these cases and he's going to be going to jail with Suge Knight and all this crazy stuff you were saying on Twitter and then went up there and deleted it and people talked about it wasn't you. It was somebody that worked for you. Gabrielle, I know that that had to have been you. That's just my opinion. I don't believe somebody just used somebody from your staff used your Twitter account or whatever and tweeted the shit, but then they deleted it mysteriously. Mysteriously, this tweet, which you going off on Diddy, got deleted. This is pure survival. Gabriel! that got invited to a party at their house. It was at one of these parties that Wade allegedly got with Diddy and the two started having an affair. According to sources, this affair was purely sexual and there were no romantic feelings involved. The two had been sleeping together for a while now, hoping no one would find out. But somehow Union got to know about it, and she decided to end things with Wade on the basis of this affair. Allegedly, that's why she decided to split the finances 50-50 as well, because she is slowly walking out that door after finding out about Wade's secret life. It's weird to say I'm head of household, because in this household, we split everything 50-50. But in the other households that each of us have to support, it puts this, there's always this like gorilla on your back that it is like, you better work, bitch. You better work. You better work. Do you think Dwayne Wade is going to address these rumors publicly? How long do you think it would take for the couple to announce their divorce? How do you think this drama is going to unfold in the near future? Let us know all your thoughts and predictions. This is crazy, guys. Salute to the 1,500 people in the building. Um, this is pure survival at this point. Gabrielle Union is going off on Twitter. Well, she deleted it. <laughs> allegedly, it was somebody that worked for her, and it wasn't her. So we're going to say, allegedly, it was you, Gabrielle. Diddy Glover offered to throw Dwayne Wade a divorce party when Gabrielle Union was just running around doing a press run bragging about divorcing Dwayne Wade because, allegedly, he wants to become a full-blown transgender woman. He's been painting his nails. He's been wearing all kinds of dresses, all kinds of purses. The man has been wanting to come out the closet and be himself. This is pure survival at this point. And now she's very upset because Diddy Glover offered to throw a divorce party. So if Dwayne Wade wants to have a gay party and it's going to be a divorce party, of why wouldn't he want to have it at Diddy Glover's? Diddy Glover, they said Diddy Glover throw the best gay parties out there. I told you, the butt-naked gay vampires that be upside down, all that kind of stuff. This is pure survival. If you go to Diddy Glover's, uh, the gay parties, when you ring the doorbell, it's a dildo. It's a dildo at the doorbell. When you ring it, you got to pull a dick out. Ding, ding. Like you pull a dick and then the bell ring. This is pure survival. If that's the kind of party that Diddy Gl that, that, that Dwayne wants in his life, then you need to accept it. Surviving so the fact that the doorbell, you got to pull a ding dong and it goes ding dong. This is pure survival at this point. Salute to everybody in the building, man. Smash that like button. Share this video. You know what I mean? Because we survive over here, Gabriel. And if I hear anything else, Dwayne, please have the party. Okay, Diddy Glover ain't got no motherfucking friends. Nobody wants to hang with him. You got a big name, uh, 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 Dwayne. Okay, if you hang with Diddy Glover, you might 
make people stop, forget about the motherfucking lawsuits for just a second. Because there's more lawsuits coming for Diddy Glover. Okay, so he ain't going to be able to escape the whole motherfucking thing. But at least people will be like, oh, you know Diddy Glover threw a party with Dwayne Wade and all that. And everybody got their shirts off. Everybody's butt naked running around. But it's they all grown adults. Like, it's something that they chose to do they self. Like, Diddy, we might forget about the negativity just for that weekend. <laughs> But then the lawsuits are going to keep on coming. Because Rodney ain't trying to hear that. Motherfucker Rodney like, oh, Diddy, I don't give a damn. You and Meek Mills allegedly took advantage of me. And then y'all heard about Diddy Glover? That's another thing, Gabrielle. You sitting there going off on Diddy Glover on Twitter when I told you the man looks like he's at least 3,500 years old. This is pure survival at this point. And they saying that Diddy Glover allegedly sexually harassed Sugar Ray Leonard. Did y'all hear about that? Y'all know the boxer Sugar Ray Leonard? Sugar Ray Leonard just came out and 50 Cent said that Diddy Glover is the one who sexually harassed, sexually harassed Sugar Ray Leonard. This is pure survival. That's how you know Diddy Glover when he wants it, when he said he's going to take that and take that and go on here and take that. He really does it. Surviving the fact that Diddy Glover really take that, take that and go ahead on it, snatch that. This is pure survival. Sugar Ray Leonard was, used to be one of the heavyweight champions in the world. And Diddy Glover allegedly sexually harassed him. He just came out. He was traumatized. He was tr sugar, sugar, sugar didn't even look like he had any more sugar in his ray. This is crazy, guys. Sugar Ray Leonard, yes, he, he was sexually assaulted by some man. And, and, and 50 Cent said that it was Diddy Glover, allegedly that it was Diddy Glover. So there's more, more sexual uh, assault cases and things that's coming out for Diddy Glover. So he just wants to throw a party for Dwayne just so it could take out the, you know what I mean, all the negativity away from him and for him and Dwayne Wade to be lovers, you know what I mean, and go public. You know what I'm saying? This is pure survival at this point. But salute to everybody in the building. When I find out more about this party, y'all know I'm going to go live. I'm going to react to it. And salute to everybody in the building. And we're going to continue to survive. Gabriel!